Rod Harrison, you won't be able to catch your breath during this, will you? No, I mean, because they're quick throws, it's going to be, you know, mega exciting. I just, like I said, I, I think that AD doesn't want to get caught up in throwing his darts any quicker than he naturally does, because otherwise he, he may start missing. There wasn't a lot of eye contact between the two when they shook hands. You can tell there's real rivalry there. Yeah, well, you've got this man, Michael Van Gerwen, the, uh, the up-and-coming star, and you've got the reigning world champion. You know, it's a bit like Phil Taylor against AD when he was young, you know. AD wants to put Michael in his place. Michael wants to scalp the world champion. It's Adrian Lewis's sixth world championship quarter-final. This man, Michael Van Gerwen, is his first. Yeah, Michael, for a young man, he's very experienced. You know, he's been around a long time, he's learnt the game, he's played against the top boys in the pin seat all the time, and now he's come of age, and he's come of age very quickly. I've got butterflies in my stomach just looking at this. Look Genuine for... excitement, I can't quite believe how I'm feeling. Yeah, I mean, I've been looking forward to this one all day. No offence <laughs> to the one before it, but you know, this is the one we've been waiting for. You know, the two speedsters and the two heavy scorers. It's going to be incredible. Not a bad start from Van Gerwen. Well, that's exactly what you want to do. You want to start off well, win the first leg, it just settles you down. Put your opponent on the back foot from the very first leg. And, and then what Michael's got in his game at the Number moment three. is this leg-on-leg -leg consistency that Phil Taylor and Barney had when they're on the top of their game. And that's what hurts your opponent. It pressurises them and puts them under intense pressure Pretty all the so. time, not just in your sets. James Wade awaits the winner. Wayne Mardle and Rod Studio commentators. Yeah, thanks, Dave. As you said, the king against the boy born to be king. We're going to find out whether Michael Van Gerwen's time has arrived or whether Adrian Lewis is going to extend this remarkable streak of victories on the Ali Pali stage. 15 consecutive wins for the champ. 100. Hasn't lost a game on this stage since the 1st of January 2010. He lost a quarter-final to Phil Taylor. Playing for the right to play James Wade in the semi-final of the World Dance are. Championship. Even if this does go nine sets, it will not take that long. Sit down, strap yourself in. This could get bumpy. It's going to be a Brahma. Bookmakers make Michael Van Gerwen. 96. 74 on to dethrone Lewis tonight on the big stage. Price he takes out the 144 in the opening leg. He won't do that, but he will leave it very handy. Adrian, you require 147. 15 reds, 15 blacks, and all the colours. Well, it wasn't, it was actually 60, 51, 36. 97. Well, he started with a combination of red and black 48. there, but it wasn't the right one. Van Gerwen wants 16. Well, eight will do for tops then. And that is an ideal start for MVG. He takes the opening leg of the match. Well, this man has got better and better every single round. Started off with a very mediocre average of 83, beating Gino Voss. Then 87, beating Dennis Ovens. Then beat Kevin Painter. What was a quality, quality match with a 95. He's going to have to better that to live with a green machine. 100. Well, Michael Van Gerwen, we saw him lift the Grand Prix title in Dublin, beating Adrian Lewis along the way. But way back when, in 2006, he became the youngest ever major winner when he won the World Masters at 17 years and 174 days, taking Eric Bristow's record. Lewis. Well, Michael Van Gerwen against Colin Lloyd, even though he averaged 99, 98, he was hobbling around that stage, Rob. He looks a lot, lot better tonight. Well, we know he's been, uh, been treated by the physio at Lake Norian. He might need some treatment after this barrage from Lewis. Well, that's way off beam. It was an attempt to treble 13, I assure you. Surely! 140. Adrian, you require 16. So to level up the match and the first set, 2 8 for uh, the champ. Well, no real concern. 
No score. Because Van Gerwen is a mile behind, it is possible, but you'd expect Lewis to be back. And will. 64. He's leveled it off. 16. A straight ton. But will MVG get a shot? Can a real mess of this. Double four. Well, do not want to be doing that at the start of a match. Your opponent, a chance. Piracy here, if he steals this leg. Hoist the Johnny Roger, because Michael Van Gerwen has stolen that leg. Adrian Lewis missed half a dozen darts at double, and Michael Van Gerwen said, thank you very much, I'll have that. Set could be over in the matter of minutes. Adrian Lewis dominated that leg. Threw it away. Wayne, we saw Andrew Hamilton last night making a horrendous hash of doubles early on in the piece against Philip Taylor, and he never recovered. 99. We'll see what happens here. He was nearly 300 in front at one point in that last leg, Lewis, and botched it completely. It's okay giving a, a set away, well, even two. But if you're dominating the sets, it's fine. But when you're playing someone like Andy Hamilton was playing Phil Taylor, you're not really going to get no, given them back off the likes of Phil and like Michael Van Gerwen. He's not going to feel sorry for you, AD. Going to have to win that leg back. Adrian Lewis was saying before the match he wasn't going to feel any sympathy. For Michael Van Gerwen because of his dodgy foot. Van Gerwen showing no sympathy in that last leg. The bullseye! 139. Adrian Rupert, 164. Same shot, different way. 57, 57 ball. Well, that was unlucky. 88, 80. 96. Michael Rupert, 20. To complete a whitewash set. MVG. What's double eight? That is that. The young pretender has taken the first set in three straight legs. Come on, all right, says Michael Van Gerwen. Lewis botched half a dozen attempts at a double in the second leg and has been punished by the brilliant young Dutchman who leads this quarterfinal by one set to nil. West Newton. Remarkable double hitting with last dart in hand from James Wade in that set. Brilliant performance. Newton narrowly denied. Who will play the machine well, in the semi final? Will it be Michael Van Gerwen or will it be the reigning champ? Adrian Lewis, who in boxing terms has lost the first round of this heavyweight contest. Start from 80. 100. This man, Michael Van Gerwen, really has had a dream year. And his first major, PDC major, the Grand Prix. 83. And ironically, Rod, you, you would have thought that it wouldn't have been a, a double start tournament from one of the game's best scorers. But it was. 100. Is there anything the green machine can't achieve? They defeated Lewis along the way in the path to the final. Lloyd, Lewis, Hamilton, Newton and King were his victims. Helping him rocket up the rankings from 37th. When he arrived here last year, Van Gerwen was a no-hoper, ranked 37 in the world. He's now ranked 7, and he will be higher after this tournament too. 140. At the moment, you'd say he's long odds on to be a world number one within a couple of years. Good darts from Lewis, best leg of the match, but he's still got to finish it off Wayne, hasn't he? Made an awful hash of finishing in leg two of the first set. And he's under pressure to hit it. Double 20 for Adrian Lewis.
perfect marker. Didn't use it. Double ten. Good last start. Really was. The fact that he missed eight previous starts at the double in a couple of legs. Pray on your mind. He didn't let it bother him. One hundred. Fair to say that Van Gerwen hasn't exploded into the same level of power scoring we've seen in his first three matches. He has been the heaviest scorer, the heaviest hitter of the championship so far. His first nine dart averages have been absolutely ludicrous in there. Brilliant! First of the match. He hasn't exploded, eh? He has now. There will be plenty of those. He has lit the blue touch paper, did not return to a lit firework. This. Well, he'll be disappointed after the uh, early 60, but he should have this leg burst in his pocket. For a ball 20. May go treble 18. Which he does. If he'd have hit the treble 18, he probably wouldn't have gone for the ball anyway. With Adrian Lewis on 235. Michael Michael Double. 32. 16. 16. Misses all three. Adrian Misses all three. Glimmer of a chance for Jackpot. 145. That was the finish that Michael Van Gerwen hit to win the Grand Prix. Double eight for a level set. No score. Missing doubles as well. Given the champ a chance. Big chance now. Two at tops. Nails it. Well, exactly the self same thing happened. In the second leg of the first set, then Lewis missed half a dozen, and Van Gerwen stepped in. This time, six missed from MVG, and Lewis went out. 2-0, second set. That was a piece of class. That really was. 51 tops, with the pressure on. Do not want to break, and then kick off badly. Let your opponent in. Nick Dawes, the late Norian physio, who's been the man getting Michael Van Gerwen back on his feet, literally. Treating that strained Achilles. The massage man is uh, here at the Palace. The pace is hotting up. Just losing the line, not the weight. Superb. Lewis really is. What he said is improving match after match. He's looking better here and than he has done throughout the whole tournament so far. And he won't go out, and that is a blocker. He's darted himself on most of the treble 20. 55. Michael Ricard, 164. Already seen this a few times. 41 left. Adrian Lewis has to get this. Double top, double top. Well, at least he aired on the side of course and went underneath rather than over the top. But Van Gerwen with a chance to break back. Yeah, you mentioned breaking back, Rod. If he gets topped here, which he does, he's now got the darts. In this leg, if, if he wins this.